Pride of Brighton. The Pride of Brighton Championship. You tick all of those boxes, don't you, Cassius? You have that Brighton personality. <laughs> you, you are the best candidate for this tournament, aren't you, Cassius? <laughs> but while you've been slut dropping at the Res Gal, I have been dropping Jimmy Havoc on his head at the Bright Helm Centre. So tell me, Cassius, who the real pride of Brighton is. <laughs> See, Cassius, your eyebrows are in tatters, your slut drops are weak, and there is nothing that you can do to stop me from becoming the first pride of Brighton champion. There's trash there, trash there, <laughs> trash there as well, but no Shakara. It's funny because she had all those things to say about me over there, but when I came into her ghetto, she couldn't even say it to my face. <laughs> and you're walking around like you think you're all that. Well, on June the 9th, you're going to realise that you're nothing compared to all of this. Because I'm going to take those cheap extensions and I'm going to make tassels for my next outfit. And after that match, I'm going to be so done with you. Because you're getting snatched bald, honey. And then I'm sending you home. Bye-bye, biatch. Brighton here live and everyone watching online. We are here, Riptide Wrestling. Kid like us here on commentary, joined by Shea Purser. Hello, I've got an old match of the day stick on commentary. Shea clearly taking his, uh, his match lightly later by joining me on commentary. I'm going to do half. the entire first half and win a match in two minutes. 
I mean, because Candy Floss thinks I'm mean. You're mean. That's what she said in that promo. Well, you have developed quite an attitude here at Riptide Wrestling, Shea Persa. And it looks like Chikara's got quite the attitude right now. Absolutely. It's Neon Cassius. What's going on here? A little bit of an argument breaking out. Whoa. It's like a night out in Brighton already. And here we are underway. Cassius versus Chikara. Opening contest for Riptide Wrestling over Pride Weekend. Strong East. lock up. These two having quite the problems and beef online, various promos insulting each other's appearance and wrestling ability. See if that angle comes out here. That's real offensive if you're insulting both appearance and wrestling ability, Shea Persa. So I would be very aggravated. Exactly. Maybe wouldn't have started with a lockup. No. Clearly wanted to show that they're better at wrestling than the other. Well, Takara has developed quite the ego since tagging and being mentored by Paul Robinson at Riptide Wrestling. Whereas Cassius is just a sassy man. Of course, of course, you can see that sass coming out right now. Not standing for any of Chikara's uh, bull stuff, as we would say here, because today we are PG friendly at Riptide Wrestling. Absolutely. No filth today. Nada. Strong lock up and oh, lovely arm drag. Cassius. Cassius, of course, a product of the London School of Lucha Libre. Absolutely. So very skilled in the art of Lucha Libre. Maybe we'll see some high flying from Cassius tonight. I'm sure we'll see an arm drag or two, Shea Persa. It's interesting. Cassius is usually a lot more high energy and happy. He's really come out aggressive here. Really talking some uh, PG trash to his opponent. Yeah. You can see, though, Chikara looking to out-wrestle Cassius. And Cassius just looking to show off his ability, this Lucha Libre style that he has. Chikara with the strength advantage here. Big shoulder tackle. Oh, and mocking Cassius. See, I appreciate that. you gotta, you got to let him know his boss sometimes. Cassius with the leapfrog. Going for the hip toss. Block. Oh, Sky the schoolboy early there. Very tight cover across the shoulders as well. That wasn't a lazy pinfall there, very good. Oh, and Ca Cassius paying it back. Do you appreciate that, Shea uh, Persa? Oh, i got to say I do. I like the attitude. Oh. Now it's like a night out in Brighton. Oh, look at those maneuvers. Oh. Hello. She's wrong, it's mine. Oh, sass battle. Oh. oh. Oh my god! <laughs> she pulled his wee! He pulled her wee! <laughs> and a beautiful arm drag there! And a big clothesline! Sending her off. Reversal. Ducks the line. And there's a beautiful cross oh. body! That, that Lucha Libre influence really coming in here for Cassius. Very crisp, very clean. And very happy he's, right now. He's having fun. That's what wrestling's all about. Oh, a booty shake. Go for that DDT. Oh. Shades of Tomohiro Ishii. Ishii style headbutt, yes. But not enough to get the pinfall on Cassius. There you see, that's the influence of Paul Robinson. Grinding down the plucky... Good guy here. Very, very smart to trap the arm. It's now escaped, but you can see she's got her ring IQ has gotten better in the past months. She's being smarter. She's being more calculated with her movements. Yeah, you can really see how Paul Robinson guided her throughout their time as a tag team. And now break back, make humble. Oh, look at that! That's just disgusting. Got to do. You got to do what it takes to make it to the top, kid like us. This is her, a horrific display of cheating, but uh, a great submission hold nonetheless. And look at that now, working to the bow and arrow, but Cassius not fighting out of it here. Really trying to get that arm. Oh, hey! Oh. Shades of Walter there. And now putting a stomp right there on Cassius's rib cage. And. Chikara's been firmly in control the last couple of minutes here. Absolutely. Cassius really needs to try and mount a comeback and get back on top. Well, this could be over for him. 
in this uh, Brighton tournament for the medal. I feel like Chikara might be taking her opponent too lightly here. That has been the uh, the, st the story of Chikara's uh, career here in Riptide. Very much so. Oh, up and over. Beautiful up and over. Drop kick. Drop kick. Boots in the gut instead, actually. <laughs> A lovely swing and neck breaker. Chikara really came the after effects of that we pull the neck breaker. Of course, uh, previously, maybe two shows ago, or the last show even, uh, Chikara damaged her neck yes, in a tag team match where she was teamed with Paul Robinson against Session Moth Martina and Rocky Mack. You can see that next clearly still been playing an effect on her, but whip reversal. Let's see up and over a second time. Oh, oh, Bob, holy, eat your heart out. Holy hell. See, there's one thing she needs to look for here, though, and she hasn't really been looking for it. It's covers. How do you win a wrestling match on the mat? One, two, three, or by submission. You sound like Pete Dunne, my friend. Oh. Your best friend, even. Give me water. I'm really thirsty. Um, <laughs> whoa. Um, there we go. Cover. I didn't hook the leg. Thank you, Josh Bevan. Riptide management supplying the water. See... Oh, look at that. Locking that arm again. Yeah, Very go. smart yeah. there oh, from Chikara. And you can see the crowd firmly behind Cassius still, nonetheless. Clapping and trying to trying to get him going. That motivation of the crowd really does play a factor. I wouldn't know. They don't want me. Yeah, I've been, I've been there, Shea Perser. I've been there. But even so, the booze motivate you even more. I, I love to hear the hate. That's how you do it, everybody. Thank you. And there's them booze. Chikara saying that's how you do it, but uh, clearly... Oh, maybe oh. not. She got a reversal. Shades of Andrade, Sienna Olmos right there with the neckbreaker hung on the ropes. See, she doesn't always need Paul Robinson. Her tag team partner can be the ring. Again, though, not going for the cover, which... Fairly illogical. You want to win this match, Chikara. You've got to be grinding those covers. Oh. It does take a lot out of a, an opponent, getting them to kick out. And there we go. It's kind of... That wasn't... One issue there, not across the shoulders. No, but not even so, not a strong kick out from Cassius. He you can see he's really worn down. Absolutely. Do you know what their biggest problem is? What? They're not me. Ah, oh, okay. It would be game over by now. Can you please elaborate on that problem? Just not not me, are they? Not not my uh, five strengths on the Riptide top trumps. Oh. Oi! Chikara resort resorting to playground insults here, saying that uh, Neon Cassius has no hairline. You do not insult a man's eyebrows. Oh, oh. a slap! Hey! Like a house of fire, Neon Cassius. Shake! Neck break with that DDT right there. One, two. Aggression up to 100 for Cassius here. You can really see he's taking this match a little bit more seriously now and it's benefiting him. He only took an insult of the eyebrows and now Cassius is back on top. What a wild card. And again. I'll oh, fight out of it though. Maybe took too much time there. Roll up. Oh. Fight. Knee lift. Kenneld Omega. Yeah, kind of dragon suplex there. But only a two count, not enough to beat Neon Cassius. See, maybe with a bridge could have stacked him up. Mm, one way, he managed to get both hands there, it would have helped. But uh, still, nonetheless, a half dragon snapping him down, wearing down that neck she's been working, and now setting up for her finish right here. Cast his fight out. And again, that Lucha Libre arm drag. Alex Shelley, but into the top rope. Big oh. forearm. And now going for it. Widow's Peak. That's the game. You can counter 100. One, two, three. No
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of the first quarter final in the Riptide Wrestling Pride of Brighton tournament, Chakara. Let's give it up quickly for Cassius. That's a hell of an effort coming up. I'm sorry.